Hello everyone, this is Karen and thank you for joining me for this very improvised art video. So I was looking for some materials to do uh, an art style video which is going to be filmed when I kind of found something interesting, which is something a lot of you may have in your home if you've ever been to IKEA, which is this. So, um, all IKEA photo frames have this uh, cardboard kind of thing on them just to, uh, you know, you have the, the outer frame, you have your picture or your drawing or your whatever, and then you have this which is supposed to, I don't know, frame the image uh, so as to give a more elegant feeling or, I don't know, to give more more depth to uh, what's inside the frame as to keep the uh, the actual image uh, more more still if you move the whole frame which is probably their purpose but I was looking at it and uh, it is kind of uh, it is thick and uh, it also has wait let me please focus focus yes you can see that it has a... it's not exactly a cold press feel, but you, it's a bit rough, so I thought, hey, maybe I can try and see if it takes to watercolors. Because, uh, you know, you can frame your... in a picture and then... Uh, in a painting, sorry. And then you can try to decorate the border of the... Uh, of the frame as well. And uh, uh, the other side is smooth and... please focus, okay. It's uh, smoother and it also has, uh, has the signs of cutting, so uh, I'm only going to be able to use it on the rougher part. And uh, yeah, let's see if this works out. I have uh, uh, my old Holland paints, I have uh, I don't have water. Okay, I will procure water. And then I'm going to use uh, um, my size 6 uh, uh, brush for miniatures because uh, it gives me more control over the, uh, over the tip because I don't have a lot of space to go on. But uh, if I need to, I don't know, do something bigger it also has a little bit more bristles than my number four. Okay, also something to mop up the water, which uh, I'm going to get right now. Wait for me. Yay for water! Okay. Okay, so uh, let's dive right in and uh, uh, let me zoom in a little bit. Okay, it's a very fast zoomer, I have to say. I'm not used to it, I usually just keep one frame and hold it throughout the whole video. Okay, I will try not to move uh, uh, the frame around too much, because it's something I usually do, and I will really try not to, but please forgive me if it happens. Okay, so I have no idea what to do with this frame. So, oh, oops, oh, my god. Okay, so, uh, do clean your brushes before putting them away, not like I do. And uh, I really, really try to uh, clean them. I wonder what's wrong with this one. Nothing, it's probably something wrong with me. Okay, so, mm, Let's try to do, I don't know, something floral. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so I'm going to mix, uh, to spend some time mixing my greens because I am. I was so inspired. Well, not inspired, but I was so eager to start uh, on this video that I really, I really didn't think of planning it because 
uh, yeah, it was kind of a spur of the moment thing. And so, please forgive me. Okay, but let's see what what happens. Let's pick some color. And then, okay, we're going to be moving a little bit, right? And then... Okay, so I'm trying to do something I've never done before because, of course, when you have to experiment, you have to experiment properly. So, um, and I'm also going to need more wet. It needs to be more wet. Okay, so... Um, well, so far it behaves just like any cellulose uh, uh, paper, so um, it does get uh, dry a bit quicker than it would happen with cotton. So uh, if you want to uh, do something, you need to be kind of quick about it. Or it's going to uh, it's going to dry, and uh, also the paper kind of sucks all the color in. So here you can see that uh, the uh, wet part uh, under and the wet part over were, were not able to mix properly. Uh, so I'm going to try and use. Oh yes, uh, cookies are ready. Okay, so, okay, I'm going to check on the cookies because I've already burned them once uh, in my lifetime and I'm not going to try and see what happens again. Okay, cookies not ready yet. <laughs> but they haven't burned, so yay for me. I'm becoming a real, real housewife. I don't have a husband, but uh, I feel like I'm a housewife anyway. Okay, so let's try with a little bit more water. And uh, let's see if we can get... Okay, so much, much water. And uh, let's see if... Okay, so we have like... The two colors which are supposed to kind of blend, blend, come on. Okay, I'm going to use something a little bit more, uh, more vibrant than this because uh, this looks like uh, I painted nothing. Okay, so uh, let's go with, uh, okay, this color and this color okay. also this paper with this paper it looks like my colors are not vibrant at all but I know that my I know that my old Holland are actually pretty vibrant so it's going to be a problem of the paper and uh, Okay, so the two wet parts do kind of blend into each other, but uh, they do not blend uh, the same in every uh, in every part. So you can see actually the line where I put down the paper, and then uh, you can kind of feel them mix on different levels. So it doesn't actually have a very you know consistent. Uh, uh, a very consistent uh, result. Also here, um, where I try to make stuff blend, I only created a line, so I only made it worse. Uh, so, um, okay. My opinion on this paper is that you can use it for like 
small doodles to complete your your painting and and so on but uh, it's probably going to be a one layer kind of thing so you're not going to be able to do more oh come on what's wrong with with you i have so much pigment in here and you're not showing anything i'm pissed at you okay this is better okay so uh Okay, here I'm just <laughs> messing around. But, okay, so if you do just uh, uh, one pass, it's it's manageable. I mean, the, uh, the paper sucks the water up right away, so you have to be quick and you have to be sure, uh, or else uh, splotches will happen. But, Overall, I don't think it's going to be bad if... Uh, wait, is it...? Okay, so uh, this was painted like two seconds ago and it's dry. I can't... <laughs> it's so it's so dry! Okay, but I will try to do something and uh, uh, let's go pick a pencil. Because I have uh, an idea, kind of. Let's see if it's something that... Uh, can possibly be useful. Let me do a, a bigger leaf. So, okay. Oh, come on. How much water and pigment do you want? Okay. Alright, let me clean this and let me pick. Uh, let me pick an ambulance. Okay, so these are my uh, polychromos pencils and uh, I am sorry if any one of you uses them uh, but uh, I kind of have a lot of them and I've never used them. Um, I just, uh, you know, save them for when I am more experienced with pencils, which will never happen if I never use them. But, uh, okay, so let's zoom in and let's hope it focuses because I'm realizing that this uh, uh, focus die. Okay, yes, I'm realizing that this uh, camera has like the slowest focus on uh, on zoomed images uh, like uh, it's something really embarrassing. Oh, okay, see, let me let me zoom out a little bit and see if it can control itself. Okay, <laughs> let me keep a finger there because it's not going to work. All right, so um, let's see. Where is my lemon yellow? I don't have lemon yellow. Okay. Cut me on my Okay. Okay, no, I don't like it. But yes, yeah, so this was a try, a worthy try. Okay, so uh let me show you the result of my experiments. The first one, I went uh, um, pretty fast with my brush uh, and so I did not have any blooming problem or anything like that. Only when I went the sec with the second pass, uh, uh, the stem of the leaves is kind of... Uh, wait... Always the same problem. 
Madagascar, okay. Uh, the stem of the leaves, it shows that uh, uh, you have a border here. Uh, here was the try, uh, wet on wet, uh, with uh, no uh, trying to blend uh, the two tones with a brush, and so the two tones did not mix. This one is the try, uh, wet on wet, uh, when I tried to uh, blend the two, and uh, I only made a line and made it worse. Uh, here is another try with, uh, uh, like, I do call it wet on wet, it's not exactly wet on wet, it's like a, a wet part and near a wet part, and uh, it's a dis kind of a dispersion test, and uh, this paper is, uh, doesn't, it, it just, it's like, a, I don't know, how do you call it, Mo mobile sense, soft sense, you know, the, the parts of sense that uh, suck you in. Okay, uh, but uh, yeah, inconsistent uh, uh, dispersion of the pigment, so not exactly tr trustworthy. Uh, here was another try with just one pass, and it worked fine, only I need to practice my brush strokes more. And here is a try with the pencil, which uh, um, it's not that bad, but I'm not practiced uh, at using pencils with watercolors, so um, it could have been turned... No, it could have been turned... No, this is not correct. Okay, uh, this could have been better if I had more practi practice, uh, I guess, but so far this is what I have. And here are my cookies again! Oh my god! Okay, but uh, still, video is over, so I guess uh, I have no problem with going to take out the cookies and eating them. I'm eating all of them. Okay, so uh, this is what happens when you use IKEA frames. If you want to try it, uh, share your result with me so I can be envious of your talent. Okay, <laughs> this is everything, and thank you for being with me. Until next time, bye!